here. Okay, so then the, the question is how, how exactly do we encode video, right? It turns out that video is nothing more than a combination of um, images and sound, right? But the interesting thing about the images is that they are presented to you in rapid succession. Um, and the rapid succession at which the image is presented to you or to us is defined by the number of frames per second. Um, typically when you're taking video footage of uh, a scenery or a scene, um, your camera has a default frame per second value that it uses. Right? These are the standard sizes currently in use, so you see that it's like 25 frames per second or 30 frames per second. Right? What this means is that uh, in any given second, there are 30 images that are, that, that are being uh, sort of like rendered onto the screen. Right? So in any given second, one, two, like 30 images, and then you, you perceive those um, successive 30 images as being motion picture, right? Like it's a movie or something, it's not, right? It's just images. Um, <clears throat> just trying to showcase the, the, the things or the values that you'd see if you're trying to look at um, descriptive information about the video, like in this case, these are different video formats um, corresponding to the same video, which is this, by the way, the, the bio setting demonstration. And you notice that all of them are, um, are actually encoded using 30 frames per second, all the different formats here. And incidentally, they are the same because I just downloaded them from YouTube, right? So I went to YouTube, I uploaded this to YouTube, initially in 4K, um, and then when downloading it, because YouTube, the, the, the people that, you know, uh, sort of like brought the code for YouTube, realize, or YouTube has realized that they are potentially different uses for something like this, right? Uh, I might want to view this video footage in a low constraint environment where bandwidth is extremely slow, right? Internet connection is slow. So I cannot, I, I cannot hope to view an image in 4K, why? Because it's going to take a very long time for you to completely download the image, right? Which is why when you upload a video to YouTube, YouTube will convert it to various formats, right? Uh, so these are the formats that I downloaded. This is what we are seeing here. But all of them are using 30 frames per second. The only difference is the resolution here, right? Which is the number here. We'll talk about it just now. Uh, so still on the, this, yes? No, no, that's a resolution. No, that's a resolution. Those are, that has nothing to do with the number of frames per second. The, the resolution is similar to what we're describing for images where it, the resolution corresponds to the number of pixels that, you're going, that, that are going to be associated with, um, with the video. And we'll talk about resolution just now. So this is what you're talking about here. You see, when you see a, of course this is not very clear, but there's a 720p somewhere here, 480p, uh, 320p, 144p, right? Um, they correspond, oh, the p's are here. 144p, 240p, 360p, 480p. These correspond to the resolution, right? Um, so it has nothing to do with the number of frames per second. And because this corresponds to, to the resolution, it's telling you to say, if you're using, um, if you're using 144, 144k, 144p, for instance, it's telling you to say the horizontal number of pixels are going to be what? 144. Right, and, and because the average, these days, the average video uses an aspect ratio of uh, uh, 16 to nine, right? Uh, you can easily compute what the, what the resulting width is going to be. Right, I don't know if you're making sense. So 144p means that it's going to be a 256 by 144 resolution. Meaning that the image, if you, don't, if you go to YouTube and you, you decide explicitly, say I want to view and uh, I want to view this video using 144p, I, I don't know who would want to do that uh, because it's terrible, right? The quality is terrible, but there are reasons for that anyway. Why you might want to do that? What that means is that the number of pixels that are going to be rendered onto your screen are going to be 256 times 144. 
Remember, the number is going to result into the, like the total number of pixels that you have being, being rendered here. And you know, sorry? Yes. So, but why would you pick less if your speed is that? Why, why would you pick less? Yes. Because the, it turns out that the number of pixels dictate the size. We calculated the size of, yeah? The number of pixels dictate the size, right? So if you, if you pick a, a lesser resolution, it means you're going to be using less bundles. What does that mean? When you're using less bundles, less money. If you're, if you're using like uh, bundles from MTN, right? Um, in fact, also, it means less time to watch the video because it turns out that it, it, there's time, there's latency being, I mean, you have to take into account the latency between uh, initiation of, you know, I want to watch this video and then the data being transmitted to you. If there's more data being transmitted to you from the other side, it means it's going to take a long period of time to get to you. So you'll be there waiting for the video to load. And I'm sure you've come across this here on YouTube, right? You see the, the, the kind of like progress bar. It's the, it's buffering, yeah? So these are different, so it's a, it's a choice you have to make, right? Is cost more important to you? Is the quality more important for you? Like, do you want the video to be so clear, right? I don't know why you'd want that. Well, I do 